how do we translate Philippians 2 6 who although being in the form of God did not consider equality God something to grasp or exploit you ready now to get confused watch here Philippians 2 6 be of that mind in yourselves that was also known to one Jesus who subsisting in God's form did not deem being on equal terms with God a thing to be grasped now watch the confusion in translations there are translations who will say that though Jesus is in the form of God or nature of God he did not consider equality with God something to grasp at what does that mean he didn't grasp at it because he wasn't equal and didn't try to be or he didn't hold on to his equality but set it aside that's why i say suffice it to say this has been a very hotly debated text whose precise meaning has been and continues to be disputed among both liberal and conservative biblical scholarship one point of contention is whether the hymn poem creed is stating that christ was god's equal who did not exploit his equality to his own advantage but rather chose to humble himself. Or is this actually teaching that Christ wasn't equal to God and didn't try to be? Okay, now you want ready for the confusion? Is Philippians 2, 6 saying Christ did not grasp at equality with God because he wasn't equal and didn't try to be? Or is it saying Christ did not grasp at equality with God, meaning though he was equal to God, he didn't hold on to it but set it aside? Depends on what Bible you read. Here are translations that clearly show He's not equal. Who existing in the form of God did not consider being equal to God something to seize and hold. Now that's confusing. He didn't hold on to it, seize it because he wasn't, or was he? Who existing in the form of God counted out the being on an equality with God a thing to be grasped. Does that mean he was and didn't hold on to it, or he wasn't and then try to aim for it? Who existing in the form of God did not consider being equal to God something to be grasped, a thing to be grasped. Again, a thing to be grasped. He did not grasp at equality with God. Damn, this is even more explicit. He wasn't. Who existing in the form of God did not consider being equal to God something to be grasped. Did not consider equality to God something to be grasped. N-A-R-B. Did not regard equality to God something to be grasped. See, again, if I just read it, he didn't grasp onto it. When you don't grasp on, it means you're not holding on to something, reaching out for something. You see the confusion, right? Okay, well, wait. Watch this one. Here's the footnote to the New American Bible Revised Edition. Either reference to Christ's pre-existence, so even your note will confuse you. This is even referring to Christ and his pre-existence, those aspects of divinity that he was willing to give up in order to serve in human form, or to what the man Jesus refused to grasp at to attain divinity. You see, Catholics, what this Bible is going to do to you? It's saying it either means that Jesus is a man who didn't try to be divine. Many see an allusion to the Genesis story. Unlike Adam, Jesus, though in the form of God, did not reach out for equality with God. You see the confusion? This is the New American Bible Revised Edition Catholics. New American Standard Bible. Did not consider, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped. You see the confusion, right? That can mean he didn't try to be something he wasn't equal, or he didn't hold on to his equality. Who, though he exists more of God, did not regard equality with God as something to grasp. N-E-T. N-S-B. Did not try to be equal with God. What does that mean? He did not even consider it. You caught it? Noise. Who being in the form of God, did not regard it as anything to grasp at to be on equality with God. So he didn't even try to be equal with God. R-E-V. He was in the form of God, yet he laid no claim to equality with God. What? Revised Standard Version. Did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. Rotherham, who in the form of God subsisting, not a thing to be seized, accounted the being equal with God. He didn't try to seize that. That means if you don't seize on something, you don't have it. TLV, did not consider being equal to God something to grasp. Wiston, who being in the form of God, did not take upon him to be equal to God. WEB, who exists in the form of God, didn't consider equality with God a thing to be grasped. So I say, what makes some of these translations rather baffling is that the phrase, a thing to be grasped, can also be understood to mean that though Jesus is, was equal to God, he did not grasp on to that equality, but voluntarily set it aside for the purpose of becoming a man in order to die on the cross. Hence, the ambiguity of the wording leaves the door open for either interpretation. Now, translations that show you that Jesus was equal with God, but did not hold on to that equality. Notice how many times the King James Version shines. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. See, he didn't think he was robbing God of glory by being equal to God because it's a fact. Amplified Bible, both the original and the updated. Although he exists in the form of God and changing essence of God, did not regard equality of God think to be grasped or asserted, as if he did not already possess it or was afraid of losing it. So here it's saying he possessed it, but he set it aside. 
Again, AMPC, updated version. Did not think this accord to God was a thing to be eagerly grasped or retained. So he set it aside. Anderson, did not think it an act of robbery to be equal with God. See? He knew he wasn't robbing God of glory by deeming himself equal to God, because that's a fact. That's what he is. AUV. But did not consider remaining equal with God something to continue to hold on to. He set it aside. BRG. Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Reading Byington did not regard equality with God as a prize, meaning God wasn't giving him a gift of being equal. He was equal by nature. Knew it wasn't robbery to be equal with God. You see how clear these are? CSB did not consider equality with God as something to be exploited. He didn't take advantage and exploit his status of being equal with God. CB, he did not consider being with God something to exploit. CV, but he did not try to remain equal with God. He did not regard equality with God something to be possessed by force. Okay, CJB, CLV, deems it not pillaging to be equal with God. He wasn't pillaging, plundering, robbing God of glory by deeming himself to be his equal, because that's what he was. Darby, you see it. So though it thought it not robbery to be equal with God. ESB, deemed it not usurpation that he was usurping god for deeming himself to be equal with elohim he did not consider equality god as a prize to be displayed he didn't take advantage of it ehv erv but he did not think that his being equal with god was something to use for his own benefit etheridge consider this not to be robbery he didn't think he was robbing god by deeming himself to be the co-equal of Alaha, because this is the English translation of Syriac. God be, taught and not robbery equal with God, JW, he did not take advantage of this equality. Let's jump, because there's a lot. ISV, in God's own form existed he and shared with the God equality, deemed nothing needed grasping. Jerusalem Bible, his state was divine, yet he did not cling to his equality with God. You get it, right? There's too many. Let me go to the NIV. You're going to see this. Let's hear these. Let's read these. Although he's in the form of God, equal God, he did not take advantage of this equality. NCV, Christ himself was like God in everything, but he did not think that being equal to God was something to be used for his own benefit. New International Reader's Version, in his very nature, he was God. Jesus was equal with God, but Jesus didn't take advantage of the fact. NIV, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality God something to be used to his own advantage. So you get it, right? NTE, right here, did not regard his equality with God as something he ought to exploit. Phillips, I like this one. For he who had always been God by nature did not cling to his prerogatives as God's equal, right? But stripped himself, did not cling to his rights as the equal with God, but he set his rights aside. Now, understand what I'm getting at. Here's a translation right here that is undecided whether regarding whether the text saying Christ is God's equal or not. New English Bible. For the divine nature was this from the first, yet he did not think to snatch at equality with God, or yet he did not prize his equality with God. You caught it? You see the confusion. You see the confusion. So if you're not a Bible scholar and you don't know much of Scripture and you were to examine these translations, you understand what it's going to do to your faith?